One of the great masterpieces of 16th century portraiture has returned to Florence for the first time in over 20 years. The new exhibition, Miraculous Encounters, celebrates one of Pontormo's most memorable periods. The Sala delle Nicchie in Palazzo Pitti is currently playing host to Miraculous Encounters, Pontormo from Drawing to Painting, spotlighting the definitive Mannerist master, Pontormo. The exhibition is carried out in collaboration with the J. Paul Getty Museum in Los Angeles and the Morgan Library and Museum in New York. After it finishes its Florentine run on July 29th, it will travel to both of those venues. The show features a selection of paintings and drawings, including preparatory sketches, produced between 1528 and 1530. Particularly noteworthy is the return of the Alabardiere portrait, displayed in Florence for the first time in over 20 years. But of course, the centerpiece of the exhibition is the monumental visitation, which was recently restored. Director of the Uffizi Galleries, Ike Schmidt, and curator Bruce Edelstein each gave us insight into Pontormo's career and the concept for this exhibition. Small in scale, but brimming with meaning and important takeaways about the artist. Well, the reason uh, why this exhibition started after uh, there was already a, a full retrospective of Pontormo a few years ago um, was uh, the fact uh, that uh, the Church of Carmignano, where the visitation, the famous visitation, uh, is being kept historically. Which, in fact, uh, the painting was um, made for uh, that location. Uh, needed restoration, and so uh, uh, we thought up and we um, teamed up uh, with uh, two American museums uh, to uh, send uh, this painting on a tour to America. Um, to the J. Paul Getty Museum and to the Pierpont Morgan Library, where variations of this exhibition will be shown. Uh, but a, an exhibition on Pontormo uh, cannot be held without having a first venue in Florence where he was active and where we have the natural context uh, of his other great masterworks um, throughout the city of Florence. What makes this exhibition special? For the first time, uh, we show one important portrait painting uh, that was rediscovered only recently in an English private collection. We reunited uh, with another great masterwork uh, by Pontormo, uh, which is um, right behind me, uh, the so-called Halbardier uh, from the J. Paul Getty Museum, which is normally one of the works that never uh, leaves the Getty Museum. It is so important, uh, one of the most famous uh, paintings of the museum, which is on the cover of many of the museum's catalogs. The exhibition began uh, with the parish church of Carmignano asking me to organize something around the visitation. And our first thought was to reunite the visitation with its only surviving drawing, something that hasn't been done in 80 years. So uh, this is the first occasion since the painting and the drawing left Pontormo's workshop that the two works are seen side by side. And why do we want to do this? It was because uh, in 2014, the visitation was spectacularly restored. And uh, in the scientific analysis that preceded that restoration, it emerged that Pontormo did not use a cartoon in the execution of the altarpiece, which was an extraordinary surprise. It's a complex and original composition, and one would have thought that he would have used a cartoon to execute it. This allowed us, on the other hand, to uh, confirm that what Pontormo did was to use the um, squaring that is present on this only surviving drawing in order to transfer that design to the larger scale of the panel. And with this, this provided an opportunity to rethink Pontormo's methods for executing portraits as well. The two portraits that you see in this gallery, uh, in the past it has been thought that they were executed perhaps using the same cartoon, where in fact there is no scientific evidence for the use of a cartoon for either of these two works. Um, so we have brought together Pontormo at the height of his powers uh, with exceptional loans, the halberdier from the Getty, uh, which does not travel, as you may know, and has not been in Florence for uh, 22 years. And the recently rediscovered portrait of Carlo Neroni, uh, which returns to Florence for the first time in almost 200 years.